Yo, what's going on YouTube? I was gonna do this video yesterday, but power went out and um, as you can see, <laughs> not in the setup, the YouTube setup, but um, yeah, I just kinda had to explain that a little bit. It's icy, like icy outside. Anyways, um, uh, and at the end of the video, I actually have something to get into, but anyways, this is going to be an early review of something that I was going to review more by Christmas time, but since it's already ice, icy outside, I thought, eh, why not? So this is going to be out of the figures that I, well, I'll get into that later. This is going to be the NECA. 1994 Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla Godzilla and NECA's have more articulation than I thought they were going to have like the tail specifically has a lot of articulation and one thing I do have to get into with the figures is I got all of these figures from the same person none of them were in box or anything which wasn't that important because you know I actually have these which is really cool um, I didn't have him before. Um, his foot moves. The one of them doesn't. I don't know if the dude that I got it from specifically like glued it so it doesn't fall off or something, or if it's just the uh, Mecca did that. But anyways, you can move the legs um, back and forth as you would want to move a leg. Um, even that moves, which is pretty crazy. Like I said, his foot moves all the way around. Um, his tail moves a lot. He moves up and down in the chest and move him side to side. His head and neck moves. And his mouth opens and closes, which is always nice. Or a Godzilla figure, I think. Um, his hands move a lot. I like the articulation in the hands. Um, the hands can actually move. Um, it had more articulation than I thought it was going to have. And I was really happy about that. Um, but yeah, this is kind of going to conclude this review. It was kind of short, I know. But... Anyways, uh, what I was trying to say earlier is I got all of these from the same person and like I said, none of them were in boxes whenever I got them, none of them, um, which isn't the worst thing, it's not a bad thing at all, um, but yeah, um, I have another NECA figure that I'm going to review out of box. I got all of them, like I said, from the same person, six in total, and I will be getting more, probably, and, let's see, uh, um, yeah, um, uh, like I said, two NECA figures, and these are going to be, like, the least like a uh, rare figure they're more common you can like go to target or walmart or something and pick them up for like 20 30 bucks um where four of the figures are more rare and not common where you can't just go to target and actually like get the figures they're more rare and more expensive um like price wise the figures are actually more expensive than my SH Monster Arts which is actually really surprising and whenever I uh, review those, those figures I will get into it but yeah this is the NECA 1994 Godzilla which I'm pretty sure is Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below um, But yeah, I will be getting some more figures probably, probably, and they're going to be rare too.
pretty rare. Um, but yeah, it's just really all about time with Godzilla figures. The more time you sit on a Godzilla figure, the more rare it becomes, the more expensive it gets, the more people don't have them in their collection. And that's why they're rare. But this is going to conclude that. I hope you enjoyed. Um, this is going to be the one that I review for a little bit. If you want to see the other NECA, let me know in the comment section below because I will do that. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, yeah, this is a really good Godzilla figure. I highly recommend getting it. Um... It is the NECA 1994, so if you see it, I would definitely pick up this figure and get it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's going to conclude this video. I really do hope you enjoy. Stay tuned because I have some more rare figures that I'm going to do. Uh, whenever I get some G-Fans, I may do like a top 5 G-Fans. Um, I was going to do a top 5 video yesterday as well, which was going to be... Um, I don't really remember at the moment, but I will probably put it in the description what it was. Um, go check out my Instagram, um, and that will be in the description as well. I really do hope you enjoy. Peace out.